Hey guys, Kev here, and I was going to take apart my new Varga VBR small lefty. Um, it does not need it. I want to start it off by saying this knife is fantastic out of the box. Um, snappy, especially with the uh, thumb studs. Action is very smooth, very good. Um, I picked this up. The other day, I it was random. Uh, my buddy Josh Worth uh, got one in Damasteel right-handed. And for some reason, I just was looking into it. And I heard he had lefties. So I hit him up. And he's like, yeah, I'm dropping some at 10 a.m. And I was like, all right. And I just picked one up. Um, and I got it. And, you know, it's I've had the full size originally when they first came out. I pre-ordered one. And I really liked it. It's just a little bit of a bruiser knife for me, and that's not my style. But the small one makes more sense. It's still a pretty stout knife, but definitely more manageable, more my size. It's a 3.25-inch blade. And, I mean, you can see how good this is. Uh, he does an interesting detent system. He has a flattened detent ball, so you don't get a snicket on the clothes that I really like. But... You get a uh, really reliable deployment, and you get very, very smooth action, um, which is nice. So overall, I really like it, and I just figured I would go ahead and put skips in it, show you guys the inside for anybody you know curious, and um, yeah, just kind of talk about it, really. Ergos are fantastic. M390 on this. Uh, compound grind. Riot made. Just really, really good. So let's take a look inside the VBR 3.25 Lefty, all right? So I'm going to grab my uh, Get Good Screwdriver here. Should be T8. We're going to figure out which side it wants to come apart on. Probably just going to spin. Oh, there we go. Oh, heard a crack. Okay. That's not, never good. But we should be good. I don't know what that was. Okay, pivot collar and a pivot screw, got it. And then we'll get under here. It's probably gonna need, it's gonna have some uh, T6s probably underneath, knowing Riot. So we'll unscrew these, pop this off. Pop this off, okay. Am I doing something wrong here? I don't know if that, clip screw is holding something in or okay let's just try this to see what happens might be a thread through no that does not go through that one I doubt it but check nope okay so neither of those thread through so we shouldn't need to remove these. It should just come up. There we go. All right. Drop that in just so we have it there. And then we're gonna have these T6s in here. Grab that. All of my tools and everything are always linked down below in the description under disassembly tools. If you wanna check them out. So these are the uh, bolster lock style screws from Riot. We've seen these a whole bunch lately. So then we're going to have some pins. I'm going to open this up so we don't scratch anything. I'm just going to try to wiggle this boy off of here. There we go. We got a lot of pins, so we just need to work our way off. Very, very solid construction. I really like that. Shout out to Varga on this construction. I mean, look at this thing, dude. This thing's a tank. So he's making sure that these are staying together. Um, looks like I got it off the pivot. Should give us some leverage, but it doesn't want to. Okay, I got that. Just trying to ease it. Just trying to ease it. Need to get down here. See these pins? These are the problem right now. Everything is 
riding through those pins. Let me see if I can kick this around. There we go. Now I can get in here a little bit and see if that helps. Oops. It's hard to do that right-handed. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can get the pivot out. Yeah, all right. Let me get the blade out of here. I just feel like I'm going to damage some shit if I keep uh, freaking stop pin. Come on, stop pin. Get out of my damn way. There we go. Well, can't get it all the way out, but I can at least get it away a little bit so I'm not potentially smacking this backspacer into it and whatnot. There we go. All right, we got that one. I don't see any reason I would need to do undo any other screws. I think it's just this pin right here. There you go. <laughs> that sucker was on there, huh? Just came plopping out of there. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, so here's that backspace. Let's see if we can't get that bad boy back in place, actually. Oh, the frame lock was blocking her. All right. There we go. So D10 on this is, uh, I would say, is already pretty good. So I don't think I'm going to mess with it. Just sponge it a little bit there. But here's the thing. With the Varga VVR, you're getting this flattened D10 ball. So you see that? D10 ball, they basically either put a flat one in, or I think they just shear off the top of the ball. And that gives you a flat detent and what does that do kev well you see the detent hole here you get a flat portion of the detent ball that drops into the hole right so instead of traditionally where you're gonna have a ball right imagine a ball i wish i had a ball and a flat thing so i could show you what i'm talking about but if you have a hole and then you have a ball right and you drop that ball in there you're gonna have some space around the edges and whatnot and you can end up with a little that ball can kind of move around a little bit in there and depending on the strength and all that stuff it's a little you know it can be a little bit more difficult for that ball to pop out of there right but if you have a flat surface and you're just dropping right this thing is just sliding and then dropping into the hole flat across it's a it's just a more solid sort of uh detent and then it breaks crisper because you're just going to have this whole flat portion just pop out at one time i don't know if it's kind of like this is how brian nadeau got to the detent nub system is like he started with this and then he was like oh i could keep ev evolving that you know what i mean i don't know but anyway, um, that's kind of the worst explanation of a flattened detent ball ever. You're welcome. Um, so we have bearings. They're 5 millimeter, one sixteenth. I will confirm that for you real quick using the Skiff Test Fit card. Highly recommend this, by the way. So basically, we take this and we drop it in here. 5 millimeter. Let's see. Is it 3 sixteenth? Nope. 5 millimeter. Bang. And then we have one sixteenth balls. So it's going to be 5 millimeter, 1 16th. Actually, let me bring this up here because we're going to need it. We're going to need that. All right. So, skiffs. If you want skiff bearings, check them out at skiffworkshop.com. Also, if you're over there, sign up for the drop point, the weekly newsletter where you can learn about all the new drops, which is pretty damn cool. So custom makers, boutique brands, the whole deal. Um, let's clean this up. You. So first thing I'm going to do is just clean the uh, lock face here. We do have a lock bar insert. 
I believe the original V1 VBRs did not have inserts, but they were, you know, five years old, maybe. I don't know. Going to clean this. Going to clean this. And again, I want to reiterate, this knife did not need this by any means. I just decided I wanted to do it. You can see that D10 hole is passed through. I love that. That's why it was so small. It's coming from the wrong side. You dope. Clean that. Oh, look at that. Look at that schmutz on there. That's what we want. We want to clean that. I love a pass through D10 hole because basically any gunk and shit passes through. Duh. Instead of causing issues. This does have a detent ramp. And it does work well. And it is a flipper knife. So it actually needs it. I like that. Some knives I just wonder. Like what the hell are these people thinking. Putting detent ramps on here. You know. Clean that. Let me look at that washer. I think I am going to flip these over. Let's see what they look like. Get out of here. Okay stop then. We get it. You want to come along for the ride. Yeesh. So let's look at the um, washer here. And yes, there is a track and I think it'd just be best to flip it over. It's gonna mean I have to wear it in, obviously. Oh, there's plenty of oil there already. So drop that this way. And we'll take this one, do the same thing. You can see this side has the deeper track. This one, let's see. Doesn't fall out, doesn't fall out. Okay, cool. Let's put the pivot back through. Now I can't remember which freaking side. Well, yes I can. Cause we had to pop off this top part. So it should go up through this guy right here, but I want to clean. I'm gonna take my alcohol cloth and my T6 and just drive it into that pivot a little bit. And then you'll see just some schmutz come out of there. We'll do the same thing with the actual pivot screw. I need a T8 for that. Clean this guy off. Depending on how this goes together, I might glue it, might Loctite it. We'll see how quickly I want to get her back in action. I was enjoying carrying it. Going back and forth a little bit on the knife. I really like it. I think... It's extremely recommendable. I think just personal preference. I may prefer, you know, just a little bit of a snappier um, uh, flipper tab. And I get why it is the way it is, you know. So that it's not an issue. It's just me, you know. It's not you. It's me. But we'll see. It, it's been growing on me, and I really do love it. So I'm, like, trying um, also, it's left-handed, which is freaking cool that he did that. I really appreciate that. I want to support that. So, you know, you guys kind of come along for the ride here with my brain. Um, so let's drop this on. Oh, I'm going to put a little bit of KPL Heavy on the detent track. Let's be very gentle. And that was not gentle. So we're going to sop that up. Just put a little bit there. And you can see that detent track. See how wide it is? Because it's this whole flat ball riding on it, not just one little, um, yeah, now I cleaned it all off, damn it, Kev. I also don't want too much on here. There. Yeah, that should be good. Um, yeah, that whole detent ball is riding on there versus just um, the top of it, you know, you can definitely have more issues with detent lash and such. I could see if you don't do a flattened ball because you have more room for error. But I don't know. Anyway, drop that on there. All the pins are in backspacer. We want to line it up, but that should be fine because that screw. Must go through there. Is there another pin I'm missing? No. Yeah. Must be a screw or something. We'll figure it out. So pop this on. Should just line up, honestly. Well, it was kind of a bitch, so let's see. 
Oh, that's for those screws. Duh. Okay, the pivot's in. That one's in. That one's in. All right. Clickety click, click, click. And we need to rock this backspacer in place like such. Then I'm going to drop these in into place. Right? And we don't even need to put that scale in yet. We can put this in. And we can get that pivot screw going. I'm going to try to shut the knife here in a second. All right. Carefully, it's going to want to go that way. I keep forgetting it's a lefty. All right, I got the T8, so let's just tighten that a little bit. Not going crazy. Should just get two drivers, but whatever. Eh. Get this guy at the bottom. And the pins are helping with all this. Helps align it, you know. Now you can see that one pin is sticking up a little bit, which is interesting. That pin's sticking up, that one's not. Is there a cutout for this one? Yep. There's actually a cutout for that pin, not for that one. So, makes sense. Let's make sure these are tight, actually. Pretty tight. Yep. Yep. Man, tooling's good. All right. Centering looks good, but I haven't really messed with it. Just a little. Can tighten those up later. All right, let's see what's going on here. We are not centered, but I don't think I tightened this. So. Nope, there we go. Okay, skiffs in there. We are perfectly centered. I mean, perfectly. It's always hard for me to check for blade play on a lefty knife. I just don't even know how to do it this way. I have to do it this way. None, nothing. Wow, okay. Whoa. I mean, feels just as good as it did before, I think. No play there. No play. No play. Oh. A little bit of in and out. Interesting. Didn't have that with the stock bearings? Interesting. Let me just... Uh, take that out. Lightest pivot lash. Interesting. I really don't want to take it apart, put the stock bearings in, and be like, is it still there? Maybe I just didn't notice it, you know? Um, but like I said, knife was perfect before. There was no reason to take it apart. So, um, yeah. And these bearings should break in. No issue. You can see. Still smooth as hell. Detent still great. Centering's good. And that was me just tightening it down, so. I am very curious as to what, why that would be a thing. Centers up every time. Never any play there. Oh, well, it's basically gone. I don't even know what that is, honestly. 
super minimal, whatever it is. So I think what I'm going to do here is tighten these down. This one's probably good, but just do it anyway. By the way, this clip is freaking solid. I think I'm just going to glue it. I mean... Doesn't seem like there's any reason not to. I'm just tightening it down and it's great. So, wonderful knife, man. I really like this thing. Get a little bit of glue here. Freak everybody out because I put glue on the knife. Put glue on the edge there like an idiot. Wipe that on my finger instead. So, I just put the glue in like any other Loctite, tighten it down, dead centered. Great action. No play, no rock. Swings down. And mind you, the, um, the washers are not broken in at all. So that will still take place. Um, looks like we're clean on the uh, tang as well. That oil isn't transferring. Probably because of the way that detent ball works, you know. Um, yeah, this knife is cool, guys. I, I really like it. Um, I think this might stick around. It's unique enough in my collection. Like, I know for a uh, flipper slash thumb stud knife you know there's a lot out there i could you know i think inspiration wise maybe hinderer took place from the original vbr maybe i haven't talked to mark about it so i don't know um but i don't have thumb stud flipper knives like I'm trying to think of a single thumb stud with flipper that i have i don't think i have a single one honestly so it's definitely not my jam, but that also makes it cool because it's different uh, in the collection for me. And it's left-handed, which makes it really cool, you know? I gotta tell you, man, it feels amazing, too. The bead-blasted tie, the per I mean, the transitions are insane, dude. Um, very well thought out on the bolster as well. Right here, everything is chamfered down. It's soft. This feels soft. Everything, honestly, feels soft. Not slick. It's got a little bit of grip to it, but it's soft. It feels amazing, dude. Um, nice satin collar, satin hardware. Everything's just, man, nice curvature. Really comfortable in the hand in almost any way that you hold it, whether it's closed or open, upside down or right side up. Doesn't matter. Everything's chamfered and comfortable. I've always appreciated his design up here, how this is just super rounded down. Everything's flush up there and rounds down. Um, I really like that. And actually, uh, when I got the flipper version of the Mini Tempest, it reminded me of the VBR because it had the flipper back here. So this portion was all rounded nicely, even up here. It really did remind me of the original uh, VBR that I had, which is cool, you know? So, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Very comfortable in the hand. Is that little spot there? Let me get that. Come on. What is that? Little red thing. There we go. That's a beautiful knife, isn't it? Very clean. Love the size. Um, I'll do a size comparison for you. Here's the Mini Evo from Sharp Eye Design. So it's about the same exact size as that. Uh, X Mid from Richard Rogers. A little bit bigger than that. Uh, here's one of mine, the Devo Stout V2. It's going to be slightly bigger than the VBR. This is 3.3, that's 3.25. Um, 
Same thing here. The MASH V2.5 is going to be about the same, yeah. Very close there, so. Oh, here's a great one. If you're a lefty, I got two other ones for you here. This is the um, Vero Synapse Lefty, three and a quarter inch. And then the Lefty Concept Fenrir, three and a half, I think, on that one. So those are some good lefty comparisons. I don't have a ton of lefty knives, guys. That's why I was pretty excited about this, you know? Um, I have the, oh, Jesus, Kev. I have these three. I have a custom, full custom Sparrow Strix. And then I have one of each Stout V2 lefty. So, I mean, in the last couple months, I've accumulated a few more lefties. And the last one I have is the, um, this is the uh, CJRV Pyrite Lefty Button Lock. So, I do have, you know, two, four, six, seven lefties. When, you know, I th I'd say two months ago, I had, what, one? I had just this one for a long time. Um, so there's more and more coming out that I like. I've had some other lefties, you know, over the last year. Um, uh, by the way, the V2 Stouts came out amazing. And, uh, there's not many extra lefties. But, if you can get one, I would recommend it. But, I mean, it's my thing. So, of course I'm going to say that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there was some other stuff last year. I think the Scout... From uh, Combat Beads, I had that. Um, didn't keep that one long term. Just wasn't my style. The Dawn V2 from TW Price. I just I just liked the V1 so much more because it was thinner. Uh, I don't know. It just caught me that way. And so I didn't keep the, uh, the V2. But um, those were great uh, left-handed knives. And then the Evo 4.0 is coming very soon left-handed. But uh, this is right up there, man, and I think this is a very solid um, choice if you're looking for a good lefty all-around knife. Like, think about this. Hinder just dropped lefties the other day, the Eclipse. Now, that's a bigger knife, okay? But I think he made this in the, in the bigger version. You're getting much better knife here. I mean, it's going to have, in my opinion, it's going to have better action. Um, it's going to be smoother, right? It's going to be re made, so fit and finish is going to be way better. Um, detent is probably going to be way better or more consistent, you know. Um, price point is going to be better, but USA made on the hinderer, and there is something to be said for the bruiser and the and the and their their action is good. They're one of the best when it comes to USA made. Um, and it's, you know, this is China, and that's USA. Totally get it. But I'm just saying this is a great alternative to that, I think. Um, if you like flipper with thumb stud, you know what I mean? Um, and you get a great grind. So I'm going to shut up now. There's your disassembly, reassembly of the Varga VBR small lefty. And uh, I'm really happy with it. Happier, I'd say, now that I took it apart and made it my own. I'm a weirdo like that. And it's, oh, it's just going to break in so nice. That action is so good. Um, so let me know your thoughts on this bad boy. If you picked one up. Oh, uh, the price. I think I paid three, did I pay three fifty or three twenty five. It was one of the two. I think it wasn't super expensive and it wasn't cheap, but for Riot and lefty, I think it was right. Perfectly priced. So, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.